Hi everyone, my name is Don Willis. I'm an assistant professor and sociologist at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. And I'm here to talk to you about my paper, Feeding Inequality, Food Insecurity, Social Status and Health Among College Students, which I'm thrilled to have published in the Sociology of Health and Illness. In this paper, I'm assessing some links between food insecurity and health outcomes among college students attending a large public university in the Midwest region of the United States. And um, I asked some questions that really force us to think about food and food insecurity in terms of its social dimensions. So specifically, um, you know, first I ask, what is the relationship between food insecurity and self-rated health, weight status, and depressive symptoms? But then I also ask, does subjective social status mediate those relationships? And to answer those questions, um, I use some original survey data that I collected uh, through an online survey that was distributed to a random sample of students in 2017. And to give you some highlights uh, from my findings, after waiting the sample, about 32% of the students at this university were food insecure, which is um, in line with previous research that uh, was estimating the prevalence of food insecurity among student populations. Um, and food insecure students reported a higher prevalence of poor self-rated health, of being overweight or obese, and more depressive symptoms than their food secure counterparts. And the relationship between food insecurity and health outcomes is stable in regression analyses, even after controlling for uh, sociodemographics, campus residents, and some health behaviors such as healthy eating and exercise. And finally, uh, subjective social status mediates the relationship between food insecurity and two of those health outcomes, specifically um, self-rated health and depressive symptoms. In other words, the impact of food insecurity on health, um, on some health outcomes, operates partially through the way food insecurity shapes our sense of social positioning or our subjective social status. So in the paper, I discuss the implications of my findings using a psychosocial framework, as well as insights from the stress process model. But to just um, discuss this quickly, uh, the findings suggest that the mechanisms explaining how food insecurity impacts health are more complicated than the view that sees food solely as um, a source of calories and nutrients. And I believe the findings are critical, not only because they further our understanding of how uh, food insecurity impacts health, but also because it highlights the need to discuss college food insecurity amidst a backdrop of inequality on college campuses. Thank you.